Uh, thank you for being here tonight. Louder. Yeah, this is really loud. I'm gonna have to get really close. Uh, my name is Andrew Resignato. I'm running for District 5 Supervisor. I made a decision to run for Supervisor because I love this city and I love this district and I love being engaged in the issues that matter in my community. I'm also passionate about public policy and I think San Francisco can do better. Um, my campaign is different. It's different because it's people-powered and I feel that in District 5, a people-powered campaign can make a difference. Um, I have a vision for this city. Uh, it's, a si it's a vision of thriving in diverse neighborhoods. Um, a vision of a city where everybody has a positive transit experience, whether you ride a bike, walk, take public transport, tr transport or are in a wheelchair. Um, it's a vision of a city that treats substance abuse like a public health issue and not a law enforcement issue. It's a vision of a city that protects its character, its culture, and its history. Uh, and a vision of a city that empowers neighborhoods to come up with solutions to homelessness and crime. Um, I believe in the power of fair play and new ideas. I think new ideas are extremely powerful to transform the city. Um, I feel strongly that District 5 needs an independent voice, one that's not beholden to the downtown interests um, that dominate a lot of our politics. And I, in I intend to carry on, um, as supervisor, a history of uh, progressive politics that have stemmed, has, has rooted right here in District 5. Um, I'm happy to uh, be running, and I'm happy to be running against a good group of candidates. Thank you. My father used to say that it's not how many people, it's not how people get ahead in life, it's how many people they bring with them along the way. Who are you? My name is Daniel Everett and I'm running for District 5 Supervisor. I'm running for Supervisor because I have been afforded successes in life. And make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Many of the vibrant residents here in the city, like me, have been fortunate. Whether it be in the tech industry, where individuals are at the cutting edge, or nonprofit managers and innovators who are setting the bench benchmark for education and nonprofit work. This is a city of individuals on the move. But ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget the community basis of San Francisco. Out of many, one. And I say that, ladies and gentlemen, because the people who moved to San Francisco came here because of the strong foundation that longtime residents set. And in that we are combined, we are joined as a community, having these same values, the same culture, the same vibrancy that makes San Francisco so rich and so strong. That's why I came to San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the San Francisco that we can keep if at every level we have policies that make us together, together, together. That is how I address the issues facing this district, and that is how I would like to be your District 5 supervisor. My name is John Rizzo. I live a couple of blocks from here. I've lived here for 27 years, and uh, I wouldn't live anywhere else uh, in the world. My uh, we raised our, our daughter here. She went to the public schools. Um, I've been caught on beauty in the tunnel for half an hour. Um, I've done all the things that probably everyone in this room has done. Um, but one thing that I've done is um, fix problems. 
I have an engineering background, and I'm very results oriented. Um, I've had uh, I've been on both sides of the aisle. I've been in government, and I've been an advocate. In government, I'm on the community college board. Um, I'm currently the president. I've been there for five and a half years. Um, I've done things. I've I've pulled the community and labor together. Helped create the first the city's first local hiring. Uh, policy at City College to hire San Francisco residents for projects that taxpayers are paying for at City College. Um, the supervisors soon followed suit uh, after that. Um, I've been working with the Sierra Club uh, for 15 years, um, most recently as a green uh, energy advocate, working with the public sector, the private sector, to create policy at the state level and at the local level and programs that help um, grow the industry and, uh, and protect the environment. I've been a parks advocate um, in the city for a long time. So I, I wear these many hats, and I just, I, just, uh, um, I just wrote a book. I thought I'd throw that out there. But, um, so now I think I want to take these experiences um, of getting things done into City Hall, because City Hall needs people to work on the issues, the services, that support us all so we don't get stuck in muni tunnels, so that our parks are safe, so that um, we have houses that are affordable to live in. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. My name is London Breed. I'm a candidate for District 5 Supervisor. I was born and raised right here in this community. I grew up in public housing on Eddie and Laguna. I scraped my knees at the parks in this uh, district. I went to public schools in this district. And I'm so proud and honored to be standing before you today as a candidate for District 5 Supervisor. Because of these opportunities, when I was given the opportunity to go to college, I went to UC Davis, graduated, and immediately returned to the community to work in the community with other young people, with other folks, to give them a similar opportunity that I was given to attend college. I couldn't believe in my wildest dreams that there was a whole new world out there, and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't there alone. When I came back to the community, I was given the opportunity to run this amazing arts facility in our district, the African American Art and Culture Complex. It's a 34,000 square foot facility on Fulton Street. I raised over $2.5 million to renovate the space, and millions of dollars in program dollars, as well as new opportunities for children and youth, and you can go there any given day and you'll see kids, you'll see artists, you'll see a community coming together the way that I know District 5 can come together. During the same time, I served on the San Francisco Redevelopment Agency Commission, where I was able to deal with issues that impact the city as a whole, including the Trans Bay Terminal, the Bayview Hunters Point Shipyard, the closeout of the A2 area of the Western Edition, and so many other issues that our community face. I uh, currently serve on the San Francisco Fire Commission. I'm so honored to be in those kinds of positions, but I don't want to be the only one who has those opportunities, which is why my life has every day been dedicated to serving my community and doing everything I can to make sure that the people of this district have similar opportunities. I'm running for supervisor because I know we can do better. I know that we can bring great job opportunities to all San Franciscans. I know that we can change the way that we deal with our educational system, the way we deal with public safety, and I know that I can do the job, I have the experience, I have the track record, and I have what it takes to serve you all and be the leader that we deserve in District 5. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is uh, Christina Loggi. I'm supervisor of this district. I was appointed in January, and I'm very thrilled and excited to be uh, serving the community as the district supervisor. Since I've been there, we've um, had to tackle a lot of issues that deal with public safety, but we don't want to deal with public safety in the traditional manner. We're looking at public safety from a lot of different perspectives. We're looking at opportunities for youth and what that means and what the implications are. How do we break the cycle of violence so that uh, generations uh, can have new opportunities uh, in their lives? As a president of the Planning Commission, I was on the Planning Commission for seven and a half years. I served as president of that commission for uh, two of those terms. 
We worked on issues that impact a lot of communities, communities of color. We, um, I worked on issues that involve safe access uh, to medical cannabis. I worked on issues that protected small business and stem the tide of, um, of uh, some of the impacts that we saw uh, occurring with uh, formula retail and how they affect small businesses in the neighborhood. Um, simultaneously, I worked at a mission agenda. I worked with uh, single room occupancy hotel tenants uh, fighting for the quality of life in single room occupancy hotels in the Mission District on 6th Street. I work with families who live in single room occupancy hotels to do what we can to improve the quality of life. As District 5 Supervisor, I'm very concerned and dedicated and devoted to quality of life for all the residents of District 5. Since I've been there, I've worked with Alamo Square residents uh, to look at ways that we can regulate the tour buses so they don't cause such a disturbance in our neighborhoods. I think anyone who drives can see that that's the case. Anyway, I'm proud to serve the district. I want to continue to serve the district and work with you collaboratively as I have been for the past few months to do what's best for the city and what's best for our neighborhood. Selby and I'm also running for District 5 Supervisor. I am super happy to be here. This is my very first time running for office in the city and county of San Francisco and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you all it's heck of more fun than anyone would have ever told you. So one of my challenges to you is consider running for office. I really want lots and lots of fresh blood in politics. I want lots of new people and I I suspect that every single person who's in here actually could do that. So consider yourself asked. Um, I'm a mom. I've got two kids, a 14-year-old and 11-year-old. They go to public school here in San Francisco. One goes to Balboa. The other's going to Presidio this year. Um, I'm also a small business person. I've had my own small business, which is actually getting kicked out of mid-market, which is an issue in and of itself, but we can talk about that later. But the reason I'm in front of you today is that I live on Haight Street between Webster and Fillmore, and that is actually somebody, a, a merchant up a playground said to me on Saturday, you're the thermometer. When, uh, when the neighborhood is getting hot, you're the one, you're the, you're the center. When you're hot, the neighborhood's hot. And in 2007, we were very hot. We had a, a double homicide across the street from my house, and it happened uh, for two young men who were killed. And Previously, there had been a lot of violence in our neighborhood, and previously we had sat back and we had done nothing. But this time, we got together and we started talking to each other, the merchants, the neighbors. We worked with the supervisor and we worked with the police, and we made a safe, thriving, and inclusive lower hate. Um, and we have lots of stuff that we do with the Lower Hate Merchant and Neighbors Association. We created that. We do art walks. We do um, lots of things to create safety, um, make things thrive. So I'm here in front of you to say I want a safe and thriving district. And I want a strong voice for neighborhoods at City Hall. I'm the neighborhood candidate. I'm here to serve the people of District 5. Thank you very much. And there's still time for people to join the race. I leave deadline tomorrow. <laughs> come one, come all. My name is Julian Davis. I grew up down the peninsula in the Bay Area, lived in San Francisco for 10 years now. I live over on Fulton and Fillmore, not far from Alamo Square Park. And I'll tell you, I'm running for supervisor to keep San Francisco real. <coughs> what does that mean? Let me unpack that for you. This should always be a city where everyday people have a chance to survive and thrive here. It's getting to a point where students, it's getting to a point where students artists, working families, immigrants, everyday people, the people who make up the lifeblood of our city, the people who make this place so special, are no longer able to live here. You know, look at what's happening in San Francisco right now. I'm just going to tell it like it is, okay? There are rogue development interests that are controlling the agenda at City Hall. They have a vision for the future of San Francisco. 
that includes luxury condominiums for the ultra-rich, chain stores, parking garages. You know, it's a vision for the future of San Francisco that doesn't include the people in this room. It doesn't include everyday people. So ask yourself, how is it that they get away with it? How do they get away with it? And I'll tell you, they get away with it by choosing your leaders for you. Over the past two years in San Francisco, we have seen an appointed mayor, an appointed district attorney, an appointed sheriff, and an appointed district vice supervisor. Ask yourself, is that participatory democracy the way we envision it? And the answer is obviously that it's not. I have some experience in the government sector. I used to work for now State Senator, then State Assemblyman Mark Leno. I am currently the board president of the Booker T. Washington Community Center, where we're working on building affordable housing for emancipated foster youth. Check out my website, juliandavis.org. There's some literature here. I'm looking forward to this debate tonight. I have the qualifications to be your next supervisor, and I hope to have your vote. Thank you. Okay, good evening. Uh, first, I would like, my name is Hope Johnson. I'm running for supervisor in District 5. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Democratic, the District 5 Democratic Club for holding this debate. We really appreciate it. Um, I have lived in the District 5 for seven years. I currently live in the Western Edition on the Divisadero Corridor, which is rapidly changing. It shows that District 5 has two factions coming together below Divisadero, <coughs> that is kind of coming up from the Fillmore and above to visit era where there's a lot of homeowners. Um, I, I served on the Sunshine Ordinance Task Force for the past two years. For the last year, I was the chair of the Sunshine Ordinance Task Force. And uh, I volunteered long hours on that committee, um, ensuring public access to the operations of local government. I think that that's really important because otherwise, how will you be able to analyze if those people are really representing you or if they're just merely selling out to the highest bidder? Um, a supervisor, I would hope to continue to ensure our government acts in our best interest and to try to curb the abuse of authority, some of which you heard um, Mr. Davis talk about a few minutes ago. Um, uh, I'm a renter, I'm a public transit rider, and um, I'm also a private sector employee. So as a private sector employee, I'm accountable to clients, and I think that that is something that we need, accountability in City Hall. As chair of the task force, I had to moderate <coughs> and um, negotiate <coughs> between members of the public and departments at City Hall. And what I found is that our elected representatives are no longer representing us, and that they perceive the public sometimes as the enemy. And I would like to change that. Um, some of the things I would like to work on uh, as a renter, a public transit rider, and a private sector employee is affordable housing. We need to strengthen tenant rights, support small business jobs, and improve muni and pedestrian and bicycle safety. Again, my name is Hope Johnson, and I would appreciate your vote. Thank you for your time.